Hey everybody, it's Chris Demetric here from TTW. Um, we got a family barbecue coming up soon, so I figured I'd pick up some 2x4s and make the kids some uh, a giant Jenga uh, play set. Uh, something for the backyard. So uh, it's a pretty straightforward project, nothing too fancy. But just pick them up, believe it or not. 2x4s by 8 foot long can easily fit in the back of my little Kia Soul. And I know it's hard to believe, but it can do that. And they fit in there even with the door closed. So, um, but anyways, let's go downstairs. We'll cut these down to size and make a giant Jenga. I got four pieces of Douglas fir and I probably should have got six. I ended up having to use some up in my scrap that I had. All right, three wide or ten and a half inches, so that's how long we're going to set up the stop block for. Ten and one half inches. And now it's time to chop, chop with the chop saw. Now that I've stacked them up nice and neat, it's time for the sanding. And there's a lot of sanding. Okay, so here's the rig that I set up. I went ahead and ran my hose from my shop vac right to the back of the exhaust on the uh, on the uh, belt sander. I don't have any dedicated dust collection, but with this much dust, it's probably going to be important, and it should just suck the dust right into there. And of course, all of your sanding can be done right on this bench top belt uh, disc sander. Uh, in my particular case, I just happen to have a jet drum sander. So I did the edges with this, and then I went ahead and did the flat uh, faces on the drum sander. Just ran them through one by one and made it much more even and uniformed. And it really got off those marks from, the, uh, from production. a lot of sanding but hey at least now my arms aren't as sore and my lungs will thank me okay well there's a lot of pieces to stain but what I'm gonna do is instead of staining them I'm gonna use a boiled linseed oil it should give a little bit of a slickness to it and um, because the end grain will like a wick will suck up that oil I'm gonna just pour that linseed oil into a tray and then just stand them upright. See, and you can really see how it's almost soaking right up into the end grain. Now I'm finding that the easiest way to get the linseed oil on there is just really to rub it, you know, wear some good gloves and then just rub that on there. I think that it, it works really well. And you can use a brush, you can use a rag, you know, whatever works for you. This just seems to work really simple for me, so I just, I'm gonna keep up with this. Yeah, even though linseed oil dries pretty fast, um, I just put a little fan in there and let it go through and there's a lot of pieces to oil and sand, but other than that, it's a pretty simple project. So here it is all put together. I think it came out pretty cool. Uh, the linseed oil really helps a lot for making the pieces slide out easily. And um, if you uh, need to store it you can either build yourself a box i bought this container hoping that it may fit in there we'll have to give that a try um, other than that i guess it'll be a fun little summer project for you you know if you 
have any questions, post them down below. It's a really low cost project, it's just time consuming. But other than that, we're all good to go. You enjoy your summer and uh, you have yourself a great day. And don't forget, see you on the flip side. And there we have it, giant Jenga to go.